So recently, there's been a lot of innovation in the design space. In this video, I'm gonna cover five tools that can help you become better, more productive designers. Let's get into it. So the first one is gonna be by the guys over at Reloom. They developed this new tool using AI called Reloom Ipsum. By the way, guys, all the links to everything I'm gonna talk about is gonna be in the description, but they created this tool where you can type in the name of your company, what you want your website to say, and with their own templates, with their own sections, you can go ahead and create the copy for that section. Section, so you don't need to do any of the thinking. So here we have a hero header and the nav links here are locked and we'll talk about that in a second. But what I want to create here is using this random name that I generated here, Mechanical Wonders, describe the company does, the best mechanics in Barcelona area, we exclusively work on supercars and hypercars, and then you can tell it to make it more assertive, but also expressive. With that being said, let's go ahead and generate the copy for this. This should only take a few seconds. And the cool thing about this is that if we wanted to, we could lock these layers and none of them would have any copy added to them. So now that this is done, we can see that it's given us an H1, a tagline, a little paragraph here. Maybe that's too long for us, but we can go ahead and change that if we want to. It's changed the copy for this. And then it also has changed the CTA for the button there on the top right. It's also given us all the nav links. Now I did unlock it before asking it to generate some copy for me. So keep that in mind. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can improve this using our second tool of the day. So for the second tool, I'm gonna jump into Webflow, copying all the text that we see here just for the H1 of the paragraph here. So unrivaled supercar mechanics like that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take a look at our second tool here. Let me just change this one as well, or maybe the top right one instead. Okay, so this is just a hero header that I created in a, in a previous video. The link to that is gonna be up there somewhere. If you guys wanna watch how I created this and made it fully responsive in every single breakpoint. But now that we have all the copy generated here, let's go ahead and check out our second tool of the day. So this is Semflow by a fellow YouTuber called Peyton Clark Smith, and he created a tool specifically for SEO in the Webflow space. So I'm gonna rerun this audit by having pasted all the information in, and you'll see that it'll tell us everything that we need to improve to be able to target our specific keyword. So in this this example, my keyword is gonna be mechanic cars, but maybe we want to say mechanic in Barcelona because we want this to be a local site. So now we upload this and it'll change our SEO score. In this case, it didn't. So we can see everything that we need to do to be able to improve the score of this site. And once we improve the score, our entire site will be able to rank better on Google, given that all the elements are better prepared for the search engine. So we can see that here, there's all these different elements. There's also the page insights. So we'll see that on desktop, it's running pretty well, but maybe on mobile, it's got some work to do. You see that the H1 should have a keyword, the H2 through the H6 would be used properly. Now, in this case, we're only doing the hero header, so it wouldn't make sense to have any of those there, but the meta description also needs to be set so that we can do this in the page settings of Webflow. We can do that right there. Same thing with the description containing keywords, the length of the meta description. Apart from that, it's also gonna give us some entire page details like the page word count, making sure that the page contains the keyword that we're trying to target, and then also image alt count. So in this case, we can go ahead and change that in the image alt section there, but let's take a look at our third tool here. So the third tool that we're going to talk about here is a very simple Chrome extension that allows you to save certain profiles from Twitter and LinkedIn to a Notion database. Now, the reason why I would want to do this, for example, and I have this example here that I've set, but Imagine I'm launching a tool in a few weeks or something like that. And I wanna be able to talk to a couple of designers or maybe have a job that I want to reach out to fellow designers. And I wanna have a database of all these people that I wanna to talk to, but it's hard to keep track of everything manually. Well, what this tool allows you to do is with a click of a button, you can add this profile to your Notion. And this works both in LinkedIn but also in Twitter. So here we have the example. And the cool thing is that once you open up that profile, you have a link to where you saved it from. You have the location, the company, the job title. So you can go ahead and fill this out and create a little database of either designers, people that you wanna hire, maybe job applications. So you can save company names, you can save all these different things. And you can very simply manage it with different forms here. You have a table, you have a gallery, you have a sales funnel, and also a recruiting funnel. So there's a lot of different ways that you guys can use this Chrome extension. So the next two products are gonna be by our sponsor of the day set app. We'll talk more about them later on. But for now, the first one that we're gonna talk about is Structured. So Structured is an app that as a designer, I find it really helpful. It allows you to organize your thoughts, your meetings, everything that you have to do in the day. So this is a mock example of what my Monday would look like. So for example, everything starts at this time. I'm creating 
creating a client proposal, then I'm working on my secret project, and then I'm preparing for the week. I have a little journal. And so after that, I'm gonna schedule some content for the channel and yada, yada, yada. So as the day goes on, I can start to check off these events just like this one by one. The cool thing about this is that you can keep adding tasks throughout your day. You can also repeat tasks like any other calendar app, but I do think that this is a very minimal way to display everything that you need to do in that day without it being super overwhelming. And a really cool thing about this is that they have an iOS app, so I can go ahead and track everything that I'm doing throughout the day with their app. So I'm never losing focus of what I need to do in the day. So it's a super helpful app to help me be more productive. Now, another app that allows me to be super productive is gonna be Craft. It's similar to Notion. You guys have probably heard of it, but this is a template that they have where you guys can show different concepts to a designer. So this is basically a proposal that you can go ahead and send off. Now, a really cool thing about Craft and something like Craft is that you have these individual cards which allow you to be super customizable to anything that you wanna add. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and type in a individual card for a client, for example, something like this. Now I just typed in example, but we can see exactly what we're getting at here. We can add in any images, any type of text that we want to showcase to our clients. And when you're a designer, this type of organization is super important, depending on if you're sending something to a client, depending on if you're just sharing something on your phone to a friend, because they do have an iOS version as well. But all these different features come together when you're a designer and you're working on something like this day by day, using it all the time. Now there's a lot of different ways to actually customize your page here. You have a lot of different backgrounds. So this is another thing to keep in mind when you're showing or sending this to a client. It makes it a much better experience for the client when they're receiving something that feels more branded to your own agency rather than a simple Notion doc with a banner. Now you can also add banners here, but that's not that's beside the point here. But in any case, you can add more of a brand feel from your own agency or your own company to your proposals, to your templates, anything that you send out to clients rather than just being a very simple standard Notion block. So guys, Setup is sponsoring today's video. Obviously, it is a great way to avoid this massive sea of products that we have in the design space. So with Setup, you'll get access to the last two tools that I talked about, plus 240 more for only $10 a month. There's also a seven day free trial to get you started. So with that being said, you guys can get a lot of tools for a pretty cheap membership if you have a Mac or any iOS device. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you didn't know about any of the tools that I talked about in the video today, then let me know in the comments because I read all of them and I reply to all of them as well. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one.